Hi, in this video we're going to look at how to create reusable layouts. Now what can this do for you? It can save you a lot of time when you are building your applications for multiple devices and multiple sizes. And even if you're doing it just for one size, if you're going to have several screens that may have the same kind of elements on it, it saves you from having to reset up that layout for each new activity that you create. So for example, this is my normal size layout in my main XML file, but I've created a layout for large and small and an extra large. So I've already got, a, I've got four different files now for four different size screen layouts. Now potentially this can work out to be a lot of different screens because if you see just with our small app here, uh, this is our, our start page. We can have an about activity, an albums activity, and a movies activity. Now if I decided to create and keep this same navigation on my other screens as well, then I'd have to go into my other layout XML files and set these up again. And also you may not want to get into copying and, and pasting things back and forth. And it's uh, this is a more efficient way of managing reusable layouts that you're going to have in your app. So for example, this navigation will be something that we may use in three other activity pages within our app. So we'll have three other activity pages that will use this same navigation section. So one way to do that is I'm going to come over here into my outline section and this is my linear layout that contains my buttons. And so this would be a block of code actually a block of XML that I want to reuse in my other XML files. So to set this up as a reusable layout, I'm going to come over here and I'm going to select Linear Layout 2 because it contains my navigation section. And I'm going to right click on it and choose Extract Include. And we get a window that pops up and asks us for what we want to name this, so I'm going to call it nav, so I'm going to click OK. And now again, it looks like some things were, have disappeared in our file, but I'll focus your attention up here. We are in nav XML. By doing that, we, it creates a separate XML file that contains the layout elements that were in our main XML file. So in this case, it's our linear layout with our three buttons. If I come back to the main XML, you'll see everything else is still intact here. But the big change here is you can see that this is now what's considered an include. And when we work with an include, it's saying, okay, go out and it's referring to the nav XML file. And this gives us the ability to include this in other layouts. And we could do the same thing with this title section up here. If this is going to be at the top of each activity screen that we work with, then rather than setting that up and doing the alignment and everything, we could make that a separate include. Now if I come over here to choose this linear layout that has this text view in it, and I come in and I choose Extract Include, we get this message that says cannot refactor the root which means we can't include, this is the main part, right? Our linear layout is at the root of everything. So what we would have to do is to create another layout. Let me put this over here. And I'm gonna put my text view inside of this. Now it looks like everything is really getting messed up here, but this goes inside my linear layout view and then this is going to come up to the top so that it's not all the way at the top which is our linear layout but we're going to move it above layout one okay so now I have a separate it's not at the root anymore and I can right click on this and choose extract include 
and we'll call this title and OK. And again, you can see it created a title XML file and it's got the complete XML code for the section that we just created the include for. Back in the main XML, it's making a reference out to the include for title. So this lets us, once we've got this set up in a layout, we can create separate XML files for reusable sections of your layout and then we can refer to them easily. Now if you wanted to change this, so for example this text is left aligned. I don't make the change here because this is referring out to the title XML file. But I want to come up here, this title XML file, select this and make a change in my gravity to center it. I could do other things, change the font, um, change the color, etc. Make sure this is saved. And then back in my main XML file, usually takes a little change in order to get it to do the update. So now this is connected to the title XML and my navigation on the side is connected to my nav XML file. And I found that it's easier to create the main XML file break out the reusable pieces into separate XML files and then repeat that process for each of your other main layouts because now when we do a separate activity view we can bring in and reuse these pieces of code so let's take a look at that alright since I already have the normal size screen set up I'm going to continue working in here and I'm going to do a new uh, XML file and let's call this since we're going to be doing um, say albums this will be albums XML and it's going to be a linear layout and I don't need to specify anything in particular it's just going to be the default size so I'll click finish so now I have my albums XML file now I want to put my title in here but the, the title is already a nav XML file, so to reuse this bit of code, I can go into Layouts, and I can choose Include Other Layout. And now I can choose my title, and there's my title. Let's do another Include Other Layout, and I can say my nav section, and there's my nav section. But now in here, if you look at this structure compared to the main XML structure that we started out with, it looks quite different. And these were the bits of code that were inside other linear layouts. And if we wanted to set up this same kind of structure on the other pages, then we would do, we'd want to do the same thing. So back in the albums XML file, I'm going to delete this include section over here and we're going to put in a horizontal layout right and then this is where we had it the height going to fill the parent or match the parent and then within this linear layout we can drag in to include another layout and that's where we'll put in the nav then we could do another vertical linear layout to the side of it and put our other content in over there so let me change the background of this just so that we have visible distinction. So that's a way of creating other layouts that you can reuse. It creates other XML files. Now these are fairly simple ones uh, and depending on your app it, they may get more complex. But the more complex they get the less copying and pasting you have to do over and over again. You can just include them in. The great thing about this is say we had, um, if we had copied and pasted our main XML into our album's XML, right, and then just went in and made a couple of changes. And we have three or four other activity views that are based on that. And you decide you're going to change something in your navigation, right? It's much easier to make a change in this one file than it would be to go into your main XML and your albums XML and your about XML and your movies XML. 
So they're all connected to these individual XML files. So if I go into my nav XML and say I decided that I wanted a different font color just to make it easy. We'll just make it green. Okay, so now my nav XML is green and when I go to my main XML it's green and when I go to my albums XML it's green. So you may be tempted to do copying and pasting or duplicating the main XML when you create albums XML and that works to an extent, but when you want to start to make things global without having to go into multiple different files, then you can update it in one place. And that's how reusable layouts work.